and five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's that chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast banger, episode. Banger, smash banger, that like button. Smash that notification button. Bangers, bangers, bangers on 2023. Quick church announcement for me, Sacramento this weekend. There are two shows sold out already. You have a chance to get the remaining three, which is the Thursday show, the Friday late, or the Saturday late. Next week in New Brunswick, New Jersey, selling pretty well. That's next week. And Boston, Massachusetts. Park the car. Park the car in the Harvard Yard. To get some chowder. That's on the Sunday, I believe, of Memorial Day. Ball Brothers Atlanta oh has sold out. I'm sorry. So I thought there was 40 out. tickets left. I was going to give those to the Patreon anyway, but there was a glitch in the Matrix, and those tickets were never supposed to be available on sale. So Atlanta actually been sold out for like two weeks. Uh, DC and Philly, there's only 50 less than 50 tickets left, and that was as of they gone. By the time you hear this, two days ago. Um, so that's that. Chicago is probably next to be sold out. Then Charlotte, Dallas, and New York. The only ones that are not selling crazy fast are Phoenix and New Orleans and Cleveland, the three cities that were added last and for we'll this We'll never go back. Reason. Don't even worry about it. Uh, so y'all yes. said come to New Orleans. I know. They come all to Phoenix. Said come to New Orleans. Come to Cleveland. But we knew New Orleans. And then how y'all, this is how y'all act. Right. It's okay. It's okay. You live and learn. Uh, we'll never oh, go back. Cleveland, it's fine. Did act right. And Angel, what you got? Is this going to cause an argument? Tour. Tickets are on sale. And when I say tour, take it lightly because we're only doing L.A. right now. And if L.A. does well, we'll see y'all everywhere else. Oh, is that how you're doing it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're just we're like, let's you dip your toe in. Let's dip the toe. And then if it goes well, we'll be at every other city <laughs> that I mentioned before. Uh, Lexington, D.C., Houston, Atlanta, um, Chicago. But anyways, tickets are on sale. Link is in the bio of wherever you can find me in the description of videos. Go buy your tickets. They're only $35, okay? Ain't number 35. Ain't number 35. And if you do VIP, listen, we doing a meet and greet and you get merch. So oh. listen, that's a good deal. Sound like a good deal to me. Um, like a great in the deal. last episode of A Black Lady Sketch Show, season four will be airing this Friday. Please watch it. If you haven't watched the whole season, go ahead and do it live. You know, tweet, tweet me. I'll, I'll click the heart or I'll even press retweet. Yeah, yes. I'll be doing that. And uh, last but not least, Mommy Confessions podcast is back. Back with Black Mothers. Ooh. It is not on my YouTube channel, though. It is on a YouTube channel that is very hard to find. So that doesn't help. But if you uh, go at Mommy Confessions 127, I think, they gave me a random ASS handle. Anyways, you'll find us. And this podcast is sponsored by none other than Talkspace. Paint your life in noon. We'll tell you more about them later on in the show. Nice. Is Quinn and Denora, are they consistent or are you going to get new moms consistent. every time? Consistent. Ooh, oh, yeah? I like that. Yeah, they're my consistent, a consistent host, but we will have guests sometimes. And if one of them can't make it, then it'll be the two of us. What, curious, why you started a new YouTube page? You just wanted to... Mama Likes has been something that I've been baking and not putting anything up. Oh. Like, I'm um, trying to, like... Because you know what? That Chick Angel is not a lifestyle ch lifestyle channel. It is vlogs and podcasts. Yeah. And it's hard to be like, and let's add lifestyle content. Got so it. Mama Likes will be that. Got Boom! It. All right, so uh, there's a lot of stuff in the world. Uh, first, we want to talk about, shout out to me. I, I got, got so pissed off at the bonus episode that I made a solo video about how much I hate rap TV and pages like that that are not owned by black people. And a lot of people reposted it. And unfortunately, most of the people of our ilk weren't following them and and don't care and right. we're not the audience yeah. of them and the people who are young and f don't know no better or unaware just probably it, it won't do anything I don't think but that never stopped me before I just yeah. was like y'all shouldn't even be in black folks business like that a whole bunch of people Correct. who don't even care about Jamie Foxx for real they don't just use him and his actual life and health as as clicks and content and that pissed me off rap TV you suck rap house TV you suck Daily Loud, you suck. Um, all the ones who is not owned and operated by black people, but profit, profit and proliferate black content and then get money because they're black adjacent and not owned by black people it pisses me off. You talking about like Vlad TV? Is Vlad that, TV Vlad, too. Is that what it is? Yes. They get, they get all Why these clips always and views. go over there? Because he gets views, man. At the end of the day, it's all about views. Do you see Succession? Club. 
last night or I, Sunday night? I sure I watched it last night. I said, "What is this?" That, that obviously that was about Trump. Yeah. But then people just don't care about the average person at all. This no. is just TV. It's people's real life, and it's just a TV program. Clicks and views. And Clicks and views. The dude who's supposed to be like Mark Zuckerberg, he's like, people are just data points. I don't yeah. even see y'all people like that. People are data. People are data. But anyway. Back to the interesting th- stuff. So Gabrielle Union is trending, and I just I always find this so interesting because what a person says very clearly is right, not what people want to hear. They take that and and then go and add something they did oh, not say about four different assumptions. Where you just like, where did she that said come it from? clear? Yeah. What she said was so clear. Uh-huh. And as a person in the industry, I feel it too. Right, mm-hmm. I get the same feeling. And people, boy, they created an entirely different narrative. So we're going to listen to what she said before we tell you what they focus on. I'm sure you know what they focus on. I struggle with that. Still, just because I I think I just have more responsibilities, you know, for my money. So I get nervous. Like, oh, God, that, that movie didn't open. You know, well, what does that mean? Do I... Am I... Do I... Do, am I going to have enough to, to, to hold everybody up? And, and, and everyone's like... It's coming, like, calm down. And I'm trying to find peace in the journey, not using my anxiety and scarcity mindset to be my engine, which is hard. It's weird to say I'm head of household because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like, gorilla on your back that is like you better work you better work you better work you know you're gonna sleep in Mm. you know somebody might not eat i struggle with that still just because i people said so you got this man who had a baby on you and you giving money to pay rent is you crazy that's what people got from that. Ain't no way. My man, I didn't, ain't no way. I'm not putting in nothing on this apartment. He going to have to pay all of it. That is what people's response. All is. they heard, 90% of her of her, her uh, segment, or that segment, was about vul- the vulnerability of no matter how much money she has, she always feels like she has to make more. more. Uh-huh. Because she has another house. I don't know the other household she's referencing that she has to take care of. Um, but she always feels like she has to work and do more. Yeah. Right. And at the very end, you know, me and Dwayne go 50, 50. Who are you talking about? Girl, hi, <laughs> you pee to pick me. What? <laughs> People truly, they latch on to one thing, latch on to one thing and forget <laughs> about the rest. I really, the point that she brought up is something that me and my, my therapist has to remind me of multiple times is this thing of where does my faith reside in a world of abundance? Hey, talk about it. Because our faith as black people has been so connected to scarcity and struggle that when we're in a place of abundance, you feel like it's going in where, where is your, where does your faith? So you go back into, okay, I'm going to attach it to, but this might not always be here. Mm-hmm. So I got to pray to God that this, so it always is a scarcity. So we, ha- she has been working on me that my faith then resides in the freedom of creativity. Mm-hmm. And say more there. What does that mean? That, like that, that, okay. So the money, the abundance of being able to have provision, we're not about to start tampering with that and feeling like, <laughs> Yeah, but having faith that I can create, like using my faith to create things, using my faith to like draw where my creative energy uh, goes uh, is pulled from, I should say. Yes. So instead of getting in this place of my faith can only exist in lack, so I have to focus on lack. Putting my faith in how does that blossom something creative? Yes. If that makes sense. So, like for instance, your faith is what created KOSS. Mm-hmm. That's what she means. Yes. Your therapist. Yes. Yes. The thing is, I actually uh, agree with Gabrielle Union, or I should say I... You empathize. Empathize with Gabrielle Union and have the same thoughts. And it really, and it's not for lack of money, but it is people depend on me for their income. Yes. Right? Me. They, yeah, I, I too. <laughs> And that is a lot of pressure to make sure like 
I couldn't just take a year off of podcasting. No, nope. right? oh. people would. You know what I'm saying? Like Tony was like, "I'm taking two we, months off of everything." We, right. yeah. I will show up to your house with yeah. these mics. Hello. <laughs> so you feel like, oh, you gotta, you gotta go, you, yeah, gotta, you gotta go. Keep bringing it out. Uh, and somebody in the Patreon said this, and I agree. Is like when you get to Gabrielle Union's status, uh, often you are supporting your family as yeah. well, and that's another thing that's on me. Uh, this, and yeah, I don't want to get into too much detail, but uh, my brother and I was splitting my grandmother's uh, rent. We paid her house off yeah. together and was like, we'll take care of you right. in your apartment. Uh, he reneged on his part of the deal. <laughs> yes. He said he had, no, he said he had four and a possible. He got two books uh-huh. and he left me. And I said, I, I might got three. So he reneged. He ain't paid her rent since like September of last year. You guys, count, in, you guys counted seven. Maybe. But you yeah. ain't set though. I ain't set though. That's right. I ain't set though. But grandma, grandma got to have a life too. Grandma said, "Now you told me we were going to the council." Jigs, come on. And I used now nah, if you if I can't go, just tell me I can't go. I said, "Grandma, you going to the council, yeah. right?" She going to the council, and grandma be like, "Yeah, if you ain't got, to, I ain't got to be number Southwest and on Courtyard Marriott, but I got to be there for three or four days." Yeah. So it's just things like that that you're always thinking about. So that's why I was like, "Oh yeah, Gabrielle, you know, I get that." The moment she said, me and Dwayne Wade split, the bill's 50-50, I had a Raven Simone premonition. Yeah. I said, this is going to be the trending topic. for It's going to be on the sh- uh, okay. Shade Room. Mm-hmm. It's going to be on all the bl- uh, blogs. Mm-hmm. It's gonna, and immediately, immediately, it was... Listen, somebody said on Twitter, I didn't catch the name, but I think it's so true. He said, well, we love to argue about situations that will never be ours. Come on. Like, <laughs> Come on. We love to argue. The thing is, and it's really interesting because Gabrielle Yin was training for this, and then Savannah James, wife of LeBron James, the greatest basketball player of, of my lifetime wow. and my favorite player of all time. Um, she her her interview, and she did it with Sylvia Obell, who I'm a big fan of. She's very funny, great writer, just seems like a great person, seems like she'll be great at a game night. Uh, she did a profile of her in uh the cut. Okay. And Savannah James, she was the, she was asking her, like, why you don't be like in the public, like a lot of people's, you know. Uh, wives being in the public, she was like, look, I'm here to just take care of my husband and my family to stay in shape and I enjoy fashion. Like, I, I'm not built for the limelight like that. That is not my desire. Who said it? Savannah James. Okay. I've seen so many tweets that was like, and y'all made her famous. Uh, she ain't. She's only famous because she's LeBron's wife, which is her exact point. Yeah. And that is also not her fault no. because she has actively, and I'm talking about, I've been following LeBron James since two Actually, before 2003, he got drafted in 2003. I watched ha- his high school games high in school college. Games, he was balling too. Yes, that was the first time I ever remember a high school basketball game being played on ESPN, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, let me see what this hype about. And he delivered. And I remember shortly after that hearing about his girlfriend, Savannah, blah, blah, blah. She didn't, she ain't been on Basketball Wives, Loving Hip Hop. No. She ain't, oh. I don't think I've even heard Savannah James speak. Mm-mm. Like, I've never even heard her. In a in video form, Mm-mm. all she do is take care of her family and her children, and all post. of them. Yes, I only usually see her because Mel loves her hair, so Mel be like, "Ooh, Savannah's hair again." Yeah, and Savannah stay looking store. fantastic. Yeah, but it's not Savannah. That is our the the people who are interested in LeBron and what happens. You're interested in him and everybody around him, so we you make his it. wife. We knows it. We knows it. So then you can't then get mad at her for being famous for being LeBron's wife when you made her famous for being LeBron's wife because yeah. she ain't done nothing on she purpose. How are not. you blaming her for LeBron's ascension? This is uh, this is us as people, right? Mm-hmm. Britney Spears is another perfect example. And I listen. I'm not trying to make fun of this, but we heard she needed to uh, get out of her get out conservative, of that. conservation, conservatory. conservatory. Uh-huh. We, and people went in there championing her, championing <laughs> yeah, her. She and then we, out. we you are a champion. Listen. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> she turned them Instagram comments <laughs> off. Cause I, why she always pull their pants? <laughs> she always be pulling the little. <laughs> you think she ever watches it no, back? No, we should have just been hush. 
because I hadn't thought about it and I wasn't really on the free, but I was like, hey man, that is wrong. And then I started seeing the videos. I was like, maybe I didn't have a I full wonder scope. I those stands are outside the courthouse with the pickets are kind of like, I, I, that's not the Britney we remember. Uh, uh, love and I, a free and I, I don't doubt that her family like didn't help her mental health. I love a free Britney. Oh, uh, listen, she's free in her own world. I do. Well, she be having that mascara. She be looking like she just awoke. She does. Well, she does her own makeup. That's yeah. she, she takes pride in it. And I, I be watching. It. <laughs> like, but she's free. She but we is didn't free. know the whole story. Right. Is my point. No, no, no. Right, no. but uh, see, I love her being free because it makes us think about mental health every time we see yeah. her. That's and listen, and I'm not thing. saying they need to be back. I'm just saying. We as people, we, we don't know jump the whole story. in. I don't know, but mental health is the premise of this, though. Yeah, right. because yeah. May is Mental Health Month, mm-hmm. and with Talkspace, the leading virtual therapy provider celebrates every effort you make to improve how you feel and how you live. Live even small steps can make a big difference. If you've been working on your mental health or if you want to make progress towards mentally a uh, mentally healthier place, Talkspace is here for you. Um, listen, we were just talking about it as we talk about this topic of Gabrielle Union. My therapist has helped my mindset so much. I didn't realize, as confident as I am, a, a lot of anxiety gets built up in me about unknown situations and trying to have control of everything. And just in the year that I've worked with her, I have taken so many little steps to become a more healthier mentally and emotionally stable angel um and i am positive i could not have done it without her do you think that seeing a therapist or psychiatrist would be helpful but Mm -hmm. you don't have the time to actually find one or meet them or afford them try talkspace by doing everything online talkspace has made getting the help you want easy accessible and affordable at talkspace.com you can sign up online and get personalized match personalized a personalized match with a provider that's right for you typically within 48 hours talkspace can help with any specific challenges you might be facing it's the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists in over 40 specialties including anxiety depression substance abuse relationship issues and much more talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end bank grade encryption technology to store client info and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. Talkspace is affordable and in-network with most major insurers. To celebrate May, Mental Health Awareness Month, and to celebrate every step you take towards a better, richer, fuller life, Talkspace is offering every listener of this podcast $100 off your first month with Talkspace. Just go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K! To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew! To get $100 off your first month and to show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. Listen, we've been watching couples therapy on Showtime for for the Bald and the Beautiful podcast. And it is very enlightening. And and it points to my point about Gabrielle Union and... Oh, Gabrielle's Union. <laughs> I'm the first person nice. that ever made that joke. And Savannah James and LeBron James. And Marcus and Angel and Kevin and Fredericks and Melissa Fredericks and Josh and Imara and everyone in the world. All that matters oh, man. in your relationship is that it works for the people in your relationship. Because I was going to say the two of y'all. But couples therapy. There be multiple. There be polyamory. It never, there be, it, it would just be falling apart. It'd be falling apart. <laughs> the other person never seems to want it on no, the couples therapy. No, uh, not for everyone. Don't y'all be going and reading where it don't be reading. But in couples therapy, the people who wanted the open relationship, the person who wanted it, the other person didn't. But if Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, for whatever reason, they because the other thing people forget, Gabrielle Union was Gabrielle Union before she. How met. can they forget that? Pe- people act like, oh, you're Gabrielle Union. Now that you're married to Dwayne Wade because he also has money, he should take over the household. Because in America, our societal rules are still based on patriarchal. Patriarchal before women even had property. Right. Let me tell you who's never been 50 50? Me. Mm-hmm. Melissa, we've been married, will be 20 years uh next year be 19 i'm skipping over 19 be mm-hmm. 20 years next year sounds way better than be 19 this year yeah 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 we have for 20 years next year 
13 of those mm -hmm. straight <laughs> consecutive consecutive years. She's about 70, she, 30, so 70, 90, She 10. made more money than me. Super team outweighed. What? <laughs> I can't even imagine if she would have expected me to pay all the bills. Girl, <laughs> how? We would still be in that first 585 apartment. Actually, it would have been possible. It was not even a discussion. It wasn't understand. Help understand. me. Help, Help me. me. I would own seven kinder cares. In okay. God, I wouldn't have been. I don't know how most people do it. Like how in America? No. How you living? Like be for real. I know what we aspire to be and what we try and what we talk about. But the price of the rent. Maybe in a rural, like a, maybe like a Midwestern where the cost of living is less is, expensive. Is or you have small children that are not in daycare and the cost of your job might only cover daycare. So one of y'all works. Yes. And listen, somebody said Dwayne is worth 170 million. Is she worth 40 million? Ain't no way they should be going 50, 50. I'm like, wait a minute. Did you, did you think you said $140? Right. In $50 <laughs> when there are that many millions, why, 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 are, why are we doing even math? Right. Why are you looking at the math of now evenly split from that? <laughs> and also, why are we assuming that it wasn't her idea? It don't matter. Yeah. I like, but what well, I mean, uh, of none of this matters. No, none of well, this matters. Apparently everybody else knows what's best for them and their money. Well, listen, w the, the, the view in public. Oh, we got opinions. Oh, man, that's that's why we're here. And a lot of people, this is the thing that I think is funny is I feel like a lot of people who is saying that he should be paying for everything is splitting the rent with the person they with. And some of the women are like, no, my husband gets mad if I pay for anything. And I that's what I like. I have never been the type of girl that wanted to be taken care of in that way. Um, my wife is not that type of girl either. I don't know what type of world or scenario I would have to be in. Like I would maybe if I was married to a sultan or something. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what. <laughs> what why, type? Why? There's of, so many other people, but you went to sultan because I feel sultan like, or sheik. Yes, I feel like I would have to be in a different culture. Yes, fully to in order for me to be like I don't want to contribute to my own lifestyle. Yes. And this is not to knock a woman that's just like, no, take care of me. I, yeah. I do not want to Choose do. Choose me. Take care of me. <laughs> take care Lo of love me. Love me. Me and Marcus have never sat down to do the math. The bills get paid is what we care about. Because let me tell you, even if I'm paying all the things, his money is mine and I will go get it. <laughs> and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my money too. Yes. Like, it's never been a thing where right. it's like, whoa, babe, I'm broke. <sighs> Can I? No. I'm in your account already. Listen, Melissa <laughs> and I have had a joint account since the beginning of time. When the dinosaurs died, me and her came out of the cave and opened a <laughs> joint account. All we have is joint accounts. And listen, some people don't even have that. Some married people have separate separate accounts. They have one joint account. I mean, That's we have our own accounts as well, but mm -hmm. the, the 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 bill money go in there, mm -hmm. right? And we have our own account. We have also some that's the only way it's really almost impossible for her to buy me to buy gifts for her i'd be having to get my friends to buy the gifts and then i got to pay reimburse yeah. yeah i victory uh victory had to buy melissa's mother's day gift because <laughs> melissa be on the uh, there was like three gifts in a row where she just happened to be checking the credit card what she was doing down at rodale well what? happy birthday happy happy Hilarious. birthday you right? see it Hilarious. she be on that she gonna talk about the next time we have a rocket money as she gonna go smooth off because she <laughs> she turned rocket money on and the woman almost lost her mind but the point is <laughs> Uh, as our now in the last five years, I have generated heaps of income. Yeah. Right. And Melissa hasn't generated at the same pace as me, but her lifestyle has generated at the same pace. Her inner luxury person was always there. Mm -hmm. Right. But when we was in high school, all she could do was get the one FUBU long sleeve. Yes. She went to work at KFC, saved up, got the long sleeve. It was crisp, it was clean, it was iron. Yes. She had her nails done, had her hair done. In her heart, Chanel was there. She just couldn't do it yet. <laughs> she was like, but right? we're going to get she that was, one day. Uh, she was just a, a little embryo of a just Chanel. Just an embryo of a Chanel, right? But it was in her heart. Uh -huh. And little Travel Kev was like, okay, we can go to Portland and we can walk around the mall. There's there's no taxes in there. This doesn't matter. Even <laughs> if, they, 
the stuff could doesn't be doesn't matter. The stuff could be three dollars. We could walk around and look at it. Would be nice. But that was a little travel cab. Uh-huh. So now our lifestyles are caught up. But she ain't being like, well, I only generate X amount of dollars, so I can only buy that. And then y'all have a business together. We gen- Listen, she generates money, I generate money, and she also supports the money that I generate, mm. right? So if it wasn't for her, like this is the partnership aspect. Yes, I go on stage and tell the jokes, mm-hmm. but when we were starting and I didn't have a job, she went to work so I could develop the stage presence for those two years. So you can't, in my mind, you can't go back and and untether the two, yeah. right? And when I go on the road, it's important to me that my children have stability. Melissa was on the tour for the first two years. Mm-hmm. Them children was like, okay, so is we orphans during the weekend? <laughs> Where are our parents? The gangs are down the street. We yes. can hang out with them. She was half and half doing that. Matter of fact, she did more than her half it's on 50, the love 50. hour. And then she went out after the love hour. What she do? Take tickets and sell merch. Now she's like, okay, I got to be at home with the boys. Mm -hmm. So she stays at home and I go. But that's how the partnership works. It's just like Beyonce goes on the stage, but there's a lot of people that help make that show happen. Mm -hmm. They're all working together. So I say all that to say. Ain't none of your damn business what they do. (laughs) And the thing is, should men and women split the bills 50-50 is one of the top five oldest arguments on Twitter. It, it, it's not it only always that, comes back, Angel. It, it diminishes what a man can actually offer. And we wonder why these men are emotionally constipated. Because all we be asking for is provide in protection. Provide in protection. Right. My and husband is not a workhorse. That is good. I don't want you to say more there. <laughs> you just say more there. That is so true, though. Because because of these, the, the way we have been taught what marriage looks like and what relationships look like in a heteronormative sense. Yeah. It's that Hetero. those are the two things, chivalry, protection, and, um, and, and pro- provision. Yes. However, in a true best friendship, yeah. right? Yeah. There are a lot of things that you get from your best friend. If your best friend is outside of you, like your spouse, you get the camaraderie, you get laughter, you get memories. You, you get, get sriracha. The you cup. get sriracha. I got sriracha from my friend today. I told Billy, Angel and Josh, I'm going to be late. I got to do it. Yes. Yes. Get in the little throw in and catch it. Yes. All of this stuff that does not fall with uh, within those parameters. Like I, I and I believe that we miss some of and not to say that people who are in relationships where the 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 male in the relationship is the provider that they don't have those things. Yeah. But when that becomes the default, yes. you are potentially missing other things that actually make marriages longer lasting. Listen, you speaking good, Angel. Yeah, listen, I be I be very inner, you know, in outer looking and then deducing. So, um I do feel like we are on some old antiquated mess and whatever works for folk works. But when we decide that something is not a worthy relationship because it does not uh, fall in line with things that were done, like you said, back when women didn't even have rights, um, it's really, I think, stunting a lot of people's marriages and relationships. Listen, I you you made a class. I mean, just an astute argument and, a, and, a, and an amazing point. I was uh, thinking about the movie Fences, right? Uh-huh. Denzel's uh, there's a loveless marriage for, and there's a loveless relationship with his son. All, I ain't got to like you. Mrs. Dewicki don't pay me because he liked me. He played me because he owed me. You don't be worrying about whether people like you. You worry about whether they pay you what they owe you, right? Uh-huh. And he, all he did in that marriage is go to work, Mm -hmm. pay the bills. He handed his wife the check Mm -hmm. and he gave nothing to her. Mm -hmm. No love, no joy, no vulnerability. And then he went off and found that with another woman who made her laugh. And he he made his wife feel like he gave everything. And I've been stuck here. And I've been stuck here right with you, Troy. Mm -hmm. Right? There's a lot of relationships that are like that because men, and listen, I was like this early in in our marriage because I felt like all I had to do was go to work. Mm-hmm. And not cheat on my wife, uh-huh. and that was it. And I mean, and the thing that's funny about me, I don't, I didn't even pay all the bills. I had the 1930s mentality without the 1930s money. Yeah, like I, she, I remember the time. I tell so all the time. I'm old. I'm 40. I'm gonna repeat them. Remember, I came home from all deaf one day, 7:30. I'm like, I'm, well, I'm hungry. Where's dinner at? You know, hungry. You know, how I be. You've been on the road with me. Mm-hmm. And uh, Melissa was like, well, you know, uh, she was helping the boys with the homework. I was like, man, I just thought dinner would be ready. I wasn't tripping, but I was like, I just thought dinner would be ready. She's like, I, did I go to work too? No, come on. I, I worked as I well. Picked, and I picked up the boys. I worked. And I helped them with homework while you were stuck in traffic? Yeah. 
So you want you want dinner on the table, then then I shouldn't be at work. Yeah. She didn't even say that, but it was implied. Yes, it was implied. I, it, took, uh-huh. it, it, it came from my mind. I said, you know what? You're right. And I was like, I ain't Don Draper from Mad Men, right? Mm-hmm. And I think what happens is somebody said this in the Patreon. I think it's super dope. And I appreciate y'all support. Y'all help pay Angel and Josh and Amen. Greg Amen. Uh, and the bills for this. Uh, <laughs> she said men have been taught to provide and support, uh, provide and protect only. Uh-huh. They think they've been taught that that's all they offer. So that's all they offer. Yeah. Right. And you really got to design the relationship that works for you and let the world be the world. Now, Gabrielle Union is a public person. So she's got to do interviews. She's got to yeah. do stuff like that. She's got to stay in the public eye. That's how she gets cast and stuff and all that type of stuff. So in that pay- place, it's like a little bit more hard to be private when you're a celebrity. Uh-huh. But we can't apply that stuff to our to our lives, people. And, and then I'm going to say this one last And thing. then we can move on. Eh? And then we can move on. I do feel like also having that mind state is also to a detriment of men. I'm not no psychologist or therapist, but I feel like there is a reason why men uh tend to die at suicide four times more likely than women yeah it is this whole thing of if you're not doing those two things that you don't have worth yes if you aren't someone that i can look to to protect me and if you're not someone i can look to to provide every single financial need that you no longer have worth how how I just don't understand how that is healthy mentally for anybody to have. And this is not to be like, oh, man, oh, you have it so hard. But yeah. I can only imagine if my worthiness was always connected to how much money I generated or if someone felt physically safe because of my presence. Like, yeah. I, I just don't know how anybody can sustain that for a lifetime. Yes. Um, but bump all that. Listen here, I did something really nice for a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine for her wedding. I got a picture uh, of her dad. I got a picture of her. Her father has gone on to be with the Lord. And I got actually, I compiled a couple of pictures and I sent them to this amazing company called Paint Your Life. And I had them compose a picture of her in her wedding dress that she wore and a picture of her father at the age that he looked when he passed, but in his suit that he wore at his wedding. So the moment that she wasn't able to have, that she had longed to have all of her life, she was able to have painted Mm. in a moment. um, And I gave it to her the day before her wedding. And when I tell you that woman sobbed, she showed her whole entire butt to the camera because she had fallen over, her dress flipped up. (laughs) Dress Uh, flipped up too? Dress flipped up. Uh, Her mother called me actually like a month after the fact and was like, girl, I've been over here crying. I said, what you crying about? She said, I was watching that video of you giving um, giving my daughter the painting. And uh, so I say all this to say is that Father's Day is coming around the corner. We just finished Mother's Day. And you, you have Father's Day coming around and you're trying to find something that like, it creates the 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 feeling that you have for that person. It also fits in the budget that you have, and it would also be a great gift idea that they would love. Paint Your Life is where you want to go. They transform your photos into one-of-a-kind, beautiful, hand-painted portraits by professional artists. So you upload photos to create any, any image you want, right, or anything you can imagine, um, you can put yourself in a location where you've always wanted to go at a lost one to a special occasion to create a portrait of your dreams. There's so many options. You choose uh, your cho- your choice of artists, um, art medium. So you can do oil, acrylic, uh, watercolor, charcoal, and more in a great selection of quality frames. It's a user-friendly platform that lets you order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes, communicate directly with your artists to ensure the portrait is painted like you dreamed. Get a hand-painted portrait in less than two weeks, the perfect birthday, anniversary, or Father's Day gift. Meaningful, personal, and always heartwarming. Uh, the sentimental gift dad didn't know he wanted. Mm. You may even catch him wiping a tear or two. You can give the most meaningful gift you've ever given at paintyourlife.com. And there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now, as a limited time offer, get 20% 
off your painting. That's right, 20% off and free shipping. To wow. get the special offer, text the word THING. Bang! Not THANG, but THING. THING! There you go. To eight to, I mean, excuse me, to, let me just say this line again so you all can have it. I'm going to say THING with you more okay. better, more clearly. <laughs> To get this special offer, text the word thing, thing. to okay. 87204. That's thing, thing. to 87204. Text thing, thing to 87204. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Message and data rates may apply. Mm. See terms for details. Terms and conditions. Oh, oh, yeah. I want to say one more thing and then we're moving on. To Angel's last point, and then we're for real moving on. That's, that's we gotta move. Stuff. We gotta move. But uh, when my brother um, reneged, it made me reevaluate life insurance because we had money saved. But I was like, oh dang, like this is way more uh, pressure yeah. than I realized. Yeah. And I generated a lot of income, so we upped our life insurance tremendously. Yeah, you I mean, buy like, a lot. I but would assume uh, for you buy a lot, right? Mm -hmm. I was talking to Melissa, and I was telling her, you know, I feel so much more relief. I know that you know, this will pay the house off, pay for the boys' college. You guys, you won't have to work for a long, periodically time if you ever do have to work ever. And you know what she said? Brought tears to my eyes. Um, she said, "I appreciate that. I'm glad we did that, and I'm grateful." But I would rather have you come on than uh than this life insurance policy. Your your presence, even if we lost all this and just work regular jobs, that's more worth more to me than you paying for something for me yes. when I'm gone. And I was like, You see that? That woman loved you. Don't she? She loves That's Burger you. King Kev love. The, she when I rode my bike down the, since Burger King ain't nothing changed, but the, she could not buy Chanel. But if she couldn't buy Chanel, she keep the one she had. She and I go right down to that Burger King. You. All yeah. tax brackets. And I said, dang, because I had gotten to that. Like, oh, I got to pay I got this and family take care of boys in college and the house and the mortgage and then just give the kids legacy, legacy, legacy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and she was song. like, yeah, legacy, legacy, legacy. <laughs> right, so anyway, <laughs> shout out to Melissa. She's a great wife. Great. I know. She's just a sweet, Melissa. sweet, sweet person. I love she her. She is. She can, I and love that's why I give her the world. Yes, you I, I should. I give her the sun, the moon, and the stars. All right. she be holding you down. Friend Hold of the pod, John ja Morant, suspended from the NBA indefinitely. From all team activities. Oh, he, I didn't see this. This is the boy with the gun and the thing. He pulled he the blicky out Egypt. again. He pulled the blicky out. He pulled the I blicky. thought he was with somebody who pulled the blicky. No, the guy, his homeboy was on live like this. The homeboy pulls out the fake gun. With his fingers. With his fingers. Pat, 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 pat. He, he puts the camera on John. John was like, I see that. I'll raise you the act. And they made fun of my gun last time because it was small. So I have a bigger pistol. And then his homeboy was like, oh, you shouldn't do that. So wait a puts minute. puts the camera right here and then eventually turns the video out. Of course, the um, people didn't already got it. And they, somebody, of course, Jaws. Live. They, that's, that, you know Jaws going to slip. They screen recording the whole thing. They strip soon that little as, piece out. As soon as they see such and such goes live, they swipe down, press screen record, swipe back up. <laughs> they deleted their family photos and Lit videos to from make memory. Room. Oh, man. You know they ain't got the two terabytes, Kev? To make room. They ain't got the two, Justin. They ain't got the iCloud store. Uh, no, so what? you was he already on probation or so something? He, was on, he got suspended for like eight games. He got a slap games. on the wrist already this year. For, yeah. the, for a gun, too? For a gun. He this had the, the, the gun on live at a strip club. So you're not allowed we, we to. We is this about my baby? It's the same baby. Because ah, his aunt ain't around. That's again. Angel, reach out to him. Oh, my God. He See? was. He's. They're calling him, and this is mean but funny. They're calling him NBA dumb boy because he's a big NBA young boy oh, fan. Man. And he's all. It's a parade inside my city. Yeah. I did not even know that was a NBA young boy oh, fan. Oh, yeah. Um, song. Fire. Because I don't tend to partake in his music. I, I'm not the young You're boy's demographic. Out, Am I? Mm -hmm. The parade inside my city air. So uh, <laughs> he's a big fan of young boy. And he's a big fan of pulling guns out on Instagram live. Mm -hmm. And there's this whole debate. Of Second Amendment. Should he get in trouble? This is not illegal. That is the part that I am confused. Why is that a thing you can get fined for in the NBA? I'm sure. I, it's a morality I'm a, contract. I was going to say, I'm not a... NBA lawyer by any means, but I could assume in your NBA contract, you got to withstand and uphold an image that also represents the NBA. And I think waving a gun on live on a platform that's got ages under 18 people on it is probably frowned upon. 
<laughs> Especially why? because you already got suspended for it. For you the did the thing. whole thing. He dyed all his locks back black for his interview. He's on vacation, okay? I, listen, <laughs> he dyed his locks black, sat with Stephen A., I believe, or Jalen Rose. Maybe it was Jalen Rose. So he didn't lost all that money. He ain't lost the money no, yet. No, it's still that 200 is guaranteed. No, no. No, it's guaranteed. It. But if you keep breaking, like Gilbert Arenas, mm -hmm. who got suspended for 50 games before, uh, he got paid. Uh, but they were. He was saying that the gov the NBA can come for your contract for morality clauses, right? It's the same thing as saying "nigga" for a white person is not illegal, but if you say it, you are likely going to get fired, even if you are not at work. If you're on live saying "nigga," you likely gonna get fired for it, even though saying "nigga" is not illegal. Same thing with John Morant. There's morality clauses in, in his contract, and he was like, "I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be better." And I just don't, I want to know why he feels like if an Instagram live is on. Dumb. That is it. That frontal lobe is not fully there. That's why his aunt should be there. That's why his aunt should be like, he should have, when he reached, he would have all of a sudden saw he had a church fan in his hand and he would have been like, I, I, how did that even happen? Somebody needs to protect this boy's brain. I still don't get it though. Only reason why I don't get it is because this is America. Yeah. Where they, they luck the guns that, in America. And, and listen, let me That's say, the argument. NRA didn't come. No. To his defense, no, surprisingly enough, I went, I said, where the NRA? Second Amendment people, two way people. Why y'all ain't coming to John's defense? They ain't coming. Why y'all ain't coming? Why? What about Demetrius Morant? Say, I can't, he can't have, because you know the politicians in Kentucky, they take the Christmas photo, blinking from the man, from the dad to the baby. Yes, we do in Kentucky. They be holding the Kentucky, Tennessee, and the South. They be blicky in the hand, thoughts and prayers when people get shot up. Yeah. Blicky in the hand, thoughts and prayers when people get shot up. But for whatever reason, they not coming to his They're defense. Not his niggas remove ammo. They don't want us to have it. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> they Let me don't tell you want us so to funny. have it. The NRA was all cool. 2A people was all 2A until the Black Panthers went out and got them shotguns. And then the lawmakers was like, ooh, not y'all. No. Y'all can't have that. Uh, ban it for everybody. What is you talking about? Mm -mm, get away. That is for white people. But I just, I mean, he's, a, see, bless that baby's heart. Where's his family? What? No, Angel. At no, this he's point. dumb. No, he's <laughs> dumb. And you know how you have to protect some people. Certain people have to have handlers. He needs a handler, and they thought his friend was going to be a good enough handler, and the friend didn't know he was going to do it. His friend didn't know. His friend, that's why his friend turned the phone. But I would have been like, no, don't, we don't do anything with Flip gums. phones for everybody around me. But, but okay? you, you don't get to do signals like this. Because no now more. You, you're, you're encouraging me. You know I got a proclivity. That's right. sign language. It's shots for the Lord, <laughs> isn't it? Like... <laughs> Listen, I know I just I li I would be like, no, I need your friends that are around you mm -hmm. to understand you have to have a handler or I'm about to be or your best friend. Or go to the friend. range. <laughs> At least be in the range. You just be having it in the car. But that's he why I guess I'm confused. So what if he was doing a live from the gun range? I think it'd be a little bit more dicey, but given his it's more of a control area. his uh <laughs> given his uh skin color and his past, I think Listen, the rules are not the same for you, young man. I know. That's black 101. <laughs> the rules, whatever them people, that's why I talked to my sons early in life. I said, listen, whatever happens when you or your friends, if y'all get in trouble, you is the problem. You is the matter. one in trouble. Even amongst, it, Joe and Zay's friends, a lot of them are Mexican people. Mm -hmm. You black, though. Mm -hmm. And, and Zay Zay, he a darker skin with him now with the facial hair Beard? and the Malcolm X uh, glasses. He's 28. Criminal. He's That's a what they full see. felon. They're like, and eh, okay, you all were out here too loud, but you are a criminal. He's you not are even, a criminal. Not even loitering. Yeah, no, no. The rules are different. That's why that baby need a handle. Yes. If, if, if this was... Uh, somebody said Morgan Whalen. Morgan Whalen can't get fired. He is an independent contractor. And his base, they heard he said, they heard he said, nigga, they were like, I ain't even come to a concert yet. But now I know I can support you. <laughs> Let me come on. When I was in Detroit walking around, I seen Morgan Whalen one night only. Then after that said, added two more shows. That the nigga country is, guy? Yeah. That that is saying nigga for him is. Oh, I didn't know he said I didn't know he said it. Oh yeah, he got drunk and said that nigga and recently? 
uh, it was a minute ago, but maybe a year or so ago, oh, and his Ken. sales went through the roof. No, I was going to say, he's had, like, the longest number one album on the billboards yeah, like, this year. because his audience is, I be, they be saying nigga, too. Yeah, they're like, yeah! <laughs> I think Let's say it at the same time. One, two, three, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> he got a song with Lil Dirt. Morgan Whalen? Yes, I think it's Wallen. Wallen? Yeah. Uh, why Lil Dirt? Look it up. I'm almost positive it's the same day. guy. You don't got to play it, but... Because they gave him a pass, Ken. Hood path. No. Y'all keep, uh, in the comments, a lot of y'all saying he didn't do nothing illegal. What is a big deal? He represents a franchise that doesn't want him to do that. That's he what is I'm saying. Face Contractually, of per his $200 million agreement, there's got to be something that says, hey, act right. Basically, well, he, they needed to highlight it because he's not getting it. <laughs> he didn't he's not read reading it. it. He's, okay, well, they needed to put it on a shirt and give it to him on a this, shirt. They need lawyers, NBA, young, NBA young boy to tell him. In a rap. His lawyer said, this is a standard contract. Give me my $20 million yes. for reading this for you. 200 No. Oh, his per year. Lawyer, oh, his, yeah, 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 yeah. his lawyer ran that ran oh. that. Percentage. Paul Pierce was an NBA commentator uh -huh. for ESPN. He went live. He had women stripping at his home. He went live, and they were stripping on him. He was drinking. He was live. He was having a good time. He was fired within the week. Who was that? Paul Pierce, another NBA. He's an NBA Hall of Famer. Uh, and or future Hall of Famer. I don't know if he's in Hall of Famer. He, he was good, though. And uh, that is not illegal. From L.A. From the truth. They're it, like, you all can be whores, but just not on live. Just, they don't care. Just don't make us look bad. They're like, just don't, we don't want to see it. Just don't. Just pull your gun out as much as it you want. It doesn't matter if he has a carry permit or not. Just don't show it in front of people that we're also being shown and put the name attached to. Seven. It's crazy, though, that... What you do? I know what we talking about, right? Like, I mean, yeah, but it's still crazy <laughs> though that what you do outside of work hours, that is not illegal. Because, like, when we be talking well, about these the white argument. people saying "nigga," they be on air streaming to through <laughs> their employers like channel. They be like, and the nigga nigger bro league <laughs> baseball that understandable fired. You sleeping with people you work with and you are a boss, fired. These are right. things that are dealing with your workplace, like actual things. This boy was in the car with his friend, still dumb because people shouldn't be putting guns in, in alive at all. But it is very, it's ass backwards regardless. 1,000%. Uh, yeah. I 1, agree, percent. Angel. It's I just, agree. It just don't make, if, now if he had a gun and he brought it to a game, it was like, we in here. Fire him. Fire him. <sighs> All right. In other news, the Liver King. I don't know if y'all follow the Liver King dilemma. No. Oh, yeah. All the Did time. He's not in my yeah. algorithm. The Liver King? Oh, my God. The my The Liver favorite. King was a big TikToker. He <laughs> I was, know he is. He was eating raw organs on TikTok. Disgusting. Uh, and he was saying that's why he was strong, because he was an alpha male. He didn't wear shoes and socks. He was connected to the earth. He was eating raw bull testicles and hearts and, uh, I mean, just a lot of balls. He, he was eating balls a lot. So a very diverse uh, diet. Yes, just raw meat, raw meat, raw meat. Is that the type of diet that you're on currently? No, no, I, I eat regular stuff. Well, uh, technically, it's, I mean, it's natural. And nothing's, yeah, that's nothing's his whole thing. There's no he process. He's not alpha on, he's male, not on a processed prime. diet. Connected to the earth, all natural. Low in starch. Low in starch, just livers. He ate a lot of livers, too. Might be gluten-free. He know. was making a pill that said, here's the condensed version of this. He was selling it. Come to find out, he was spending $11,000 worth of his own money on anabolic steroids a month. Jesus. That's why he was the muscular. Oh, he was also a big bodybuilder. The he balls was were a lie? The balls were a lie, Steve. <laughs> They didn't give me not superpowers. Where are the nutrients? <laughs> so <laughs> now that lie has got him being sued for, I believe, twenty million dollars. Kevin, go into the ad. Is it my ad? Yes. I didn't send it to you. Uh, I, that tried to I lobbed it six. We both lobbed it like six times between. I don't know. It was my turn to do the new ad, but I'm glad. Oh, that's why you asked about my diet. 
I thought you was generally concerned. No, I don't okay. care. That's why I, that's why I threw <laughs> in the different. What you want, Brent? I know. The different types. I was like, come on, I man. I was like, he's 20 million. Okay, nigga, I was you like, ain't oh, coming back. No, the thing, the, the thing I was like, I was like, oh, he's locked in on something good because he's blocking all these. You know what, guys? <laughs> Trends and fads come and go, uh-huh. especially when it comes to health and wellness. Numa's not a fad. They use psychology, not trends, to help you make an additional sustainable choice that are allowing your values and weight loss goals. Believe it or not, baby, I'm back. This is current going on my third week of, I'm talking about pristine diet and exercise, pristine rest. Mental health is at a, I mean, all-time bet. We went down to Seattle and showed uh, Mel Mitchell around. Mm-hmm. And uh, to here and Mel, they eating cotton candy, sweet and gold, cookies, Greg eating That's Jamaican me. patties. And you know what I had, Angel? What? Salmon. Oh. Water. Over a little oh. rice. Just a little. Just a little bit of rice. A good balance. Rice. I went and ate. I mean, talk about healthy stuff. Yeah. Because I'm back. And Noom has held me down when I've been slipping damn, and falling damn. and can't get up all right and that's why i like noon because everybody's journey is different so your daily lessons are personalized to you and your goals scientific principles like cognitive behavioral therapy help you understand your relationship with food first time numbers lose an average of 15 pounds after being active in the program for only 16 weeks and 95 percent of numbers 95 percent of customers say noom is a good long-term solution noom's approach is grounded in science they believe in science esteban they publish 50 peer-reviewed scientific articles depending, describing their methods and effectiveness. Stop chasing health trends and build sustainable, healthy habits with Noom's psychology-based approach. Sign up for your trial today at Noom.com slash SK. SK. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash SK. Sign up for your trial today. Check out Noom's first ever book, The New Mindset, a deep dive into the psychology of behavior change. Available to buy now wherever books are sold. Man, the Liver King was a great transition to the ad. Yeah, I was, was. really trying to. I really mean, I missed it by a mile. I mean, I was we were like, like, I've been doing good on my diet. And Thank so you. So I was like, let me send so anyway, the ad. Maybe that'll. He declined. I didn't decline. I was just like, what is she sending me this during the show? <laughs> we just talking. Just tell me what I need to know. Uh, I also looked at the ads, but I didn't scroll all the way to the bottom, so I didn't know it was Noom today. You got to tell me up top, Angel. I, we said we it. Did. And we mentioned at the top of the episode. I, said, I thought I, you were just curious about it. You got to tell me it's in third position. You got to help me. Oh, you want to help job around, but you can't help me when I be missing ads? Yes. I basically read, just waved the gun read during the, the ad. when she shouted them out in order, Kevin. I surely you did. You did. Well, you're not helping enough. <laughs> Talk for me. I don't know. <laughs> just move your mouth. It's time for Noom. Thank you, Angel. Finally, You've been useless this whole time. It's over here doing transitions. Help me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think it's great that this guy is getting sued because I am 25. so tired. Is it 20 or 25? I think it's 20 million. Ooh. And also, but also, I need to let you know, he regrets it. He says he really regrets mm-hmm. lying to his father. You know Let me what? tell you what I'm sick of. I'm glad he has the balls to take accountability. Yeah, he's got a couple <laughs> sets of them in his intestines. As a person who's fat, <laughs> oh. I am so sick of people lying to us and acting like they are naturally uh, big and healthy and strong. They, all you got to do is get their meal plan, do this, and you'll be fine. And we really be buying their weight stuff and and trying their stuff and these people are sp- spending eleven thousand mm-hmm. dollars on on uh steroids is how you look the way you look and you gonna lie and say it's this pill you know good and well it's the steroids there was all type of exposés about him whenever this originally happened like uh-huh. six seven months ago and you be lying to us and we try and it's women too there's a lot of women who are on uh there's certain uh weight loss drugs like ozemic and stuff like that and apparently a lot of fitness influencers are not doing the things that they are saying and the people who are buying their stuff or at worst, just feeling bad about themselves and aspiring to look like that. We're not even playing in the same game. Not at all. Y'all is cheating and doing cheating stuff. Cheating and lying to us. Cheating and lying to us and we be big for they've, real. And they've had abs since sixth grade. Or they've just been in great shape their whole life. And like, oh, let me train somebody because I already have abs. And here I've been chunky my whole life. I'm thir- I'm 40. Mm-hmm. There was a three year period where I shot up from the beginning of ninth grade till college. Mm-hmm. That's when I went from short and chunky to tall. Yes. And that chunky was like, wait, wait, he got tall. And it took him three years to find me. 
But in my freshman year of college, that chunky was like, oh, we found you again. Welcome back. And it ain't never left me. So there's people like me who is looking at people like him or other fitness people and being like, dang, man, all I got to do is buy your program and do what you do. You can do everything he says to do and you won't look like that because he's not telling you that he's shooting testosterone into his so butt. Mad. I would be so angry. His butt. If bro had me out here eating balls, I would, I would kill him. What's that boy who had a gun in the car? Give me your gun because I'm shooting shooting a man in the in his ass where he had the steroids. All these people be lying. You got to look at them. I need to see pictures of you fat before you talk to me. I have a joke in this current uh -huh. set. I didn't want to ruin it. It's okay. Oh. Uh, it's okay. I It's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. I want somebody fat to train me. I want I wanted one of my ideas, but I don't I never did it. I want to make a fat people's workout video because I'd be so sick of seeing everybody with abs and I'd be fat in my living room sweating and flopping all over the place. I want to see somebody struggle. I want all the exercise to be modified. I want to see fat people because we the ones that be buying this and it'd be people who could do the exercise. You can exercise and talk. This ain't hard for you. It is hard for me. I want fat people who look like me in the workout. I want to see them doing it because I'm trying to keep up with a 25 years old. Uh, yeah, I want to see them struggling with me. Everybody's yes. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like on count number 50. Who's the person about to throw up? That's Who's the chick that had to, to had to say, hold on and leave and go pee and then come back? I peed today in today's workout. <laughs> yes. And look, when you be working out, it be pushing doodle -doo out. Man. Oh, that's what I know is good. Uh -huh. yeah, when you... I'm on that treadmill and I feel that... <laughs> That's when I know. My posture gets better, that's too, when because I you know. go from here to, ooh, that's, that's, it's Yeah, prior. that's what I know, Angel. You done did your work today. Because that doodle was like, hey, man. Yeah. All the walls are closing in. I, I feel like I'm going to doodle fat out. And it'd be just... like. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what I know. <laughs> but I'm like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Man, I stop that button when that thing get out too far. That's I'm like, why you I try to doodle before I work out. <laughs> oh, no, Kevin, don't cheat the system. No, I got to doodle because mm -hmm. my gym is far. Mm -mm. Oh, you can't poop in your gym. I, listen, my I see gym. somebody doodle into a bag today outside of our gym. <laughs> That's L.A. for you. <laughs> doodle into a bag? <laughs> yeah, L.A. people be bag. taking shits outside. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. They didn't even wipe. They, they pulled it back out, doodled, pulled their pants up, and then kept walking. I said, well, dang, good morning, Los Angeles, California. You just do this right here in the world. All right. I want to talk about this. Fast Fast 10, the next movie will be a part of a three-part finale. My, I have a tweet that went so viral. It has 328 million impressions. And it was a passing thought because I saw the Fast and Furious trailer. And Jason Momoa was in there flying. He jumped to the water. Bronny, they got Bronny in there. Who? Bronny. James? Yes. He, the, the the child. He's in the trailers. Oh. I missed that completely. Well, I, really, well, so I don't know what the me. baby looked like. Fact check me. I didn't know. I believe you, Josh. No, I'm pretty sure unless it was just for promo. Could have been. It, but I wouldn't put anything past it. Fast forever, apparently. Uh Oh, it's a commercial they're saying. Oh, okay. But um, I was I was watching it and I was like, I tweeted, when's the moment that Fast and the Furious abandoned reality <laughs> and just and because we accepted it? Uh huh. I saw when you put that. And, and it went so crazy viral. It was like low key trending over the weekend. And the thing is, I, I accepted it. Like, I remember when it happened for me and it was when Dom. <laughs> he flew over a highway. Uh -huh. He caught Letty. He crashed into the hood of a car, nary a scratch, didn't run out of breath, humanly impossible. And even if you caught her, you would be dead, mm -hmm. right? The sheer force, y'all would have caught and then fell down. Your momentum wouldn't have carried you back over there. If y'all momentum, like, you might have carried some more, but you would have fell well, down. Well, he weighs more, Kev, so his momentum would have kept going. Yeah, but then it would have been... For me, it was like, <laughs> for me, it was, it, I mean, it's every time I yell, oh my God, in the theater because of just disbelief, <laughs> but it's when The Rock had to go back to work and he broke through his podcast. <laughs> it's a good Daddy, you gotta go to work. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you, you're gonna re-break your arm by trying to force it through the no paper pain. mache. <laughs> Apparently in Fast 2, I just totally didn't, 
I accepted this. Paul Walker and Tyrese drove a car off a cliff and landed on a boat. Not going to happen, but I was like, dang, these people really know how to drive. Uh, but my favorite was when three favorites, The Rock holding a helicopter by hand and not yes. having his arm ripped off. Why would it? In He's, the rock. Shaw. He's the rock. Why would it happen? The Rock also redirecting a torpedo by hand on ice. And in that same movie, Vin Diesel's uh, explosion happens. In all, all the cars drive in to protect him from the fire. Their windows are down. Flames all through the car. Everybody leaves unscathed. <laughs> Everybody, of course. Uh, Paul Walker and Vin Diesel driving through the skyscraper in Dubai. <laughs> out of one car window. Not <laughs> dropping crashing in and then just con and they got shot in the middle of that by Jason Statham. They got shot in the air between two skyscrapers and still kept going. This is the reason why I don't understand how Marcus gets mad at me because I drove through what I consider a puddle and almost flooded my engine. Because on the Fast and Furious, they could do a bunch of stuff and the car keep going. But oh, because I drive through <laughs> too much water, I'm being reckless. You, the, Jonathan Statham can do whatever he wants to, but Angel, she got a Vin Diesel can drive his car on top of a train and jump it on top of a Spirit Airline <laughs> plane and then land in the middle of a parade and it still go. If y'all don't know, Jonathan Statham is Jason Statham's little brother. He was the stunt yeah, man. Yeah, y'all know his name, damn it. The, also, the one where they were on a plane is runway is it Jason? for... It's Jason. Jason it's a he Jason looked like a Jonathan. He do. They was on a runway for 30 minutes of the movie. There was that big old cargo plane was on a runway for 30 minutes. The plane tried to fly. They shot it with harpoons with three Honda Civics and pulled a cargo plane down and crashed it. And I was like, man, this movie, they've been on a, ain't no runway. They don't care. 30 minutes long. They don't uh, care about reality. They had Tyrese and Luda in space with duct taped astronaut suits. I still suits. haven't seen that one. Oh! Angel, well, you're can, missing out. You haven't I, seen everyone? That's, that's the one where they played into the falling out of... of Tyrese uh, couldn't die. He I literally got shot. I saw the first one, and then... Forget about it, kid. <laughs> Too Fast and Furious. Wait, you ain't about only seen the first one? Angel, you're so. missing out on Prime. Angel, come Cinema. on. I don't want to see them. They, Angel. It's, it's, it's so, it does not... It does not make me happy. You are missing out on gold. I mean, this is Martin Scorsese. He said in an interview, the, his only like, f like regret is he hasn't been able to achieve cinema at the level of the Fast and Furious movies. Stop it. He was like, you know, Goodfellas, The Departed. I did my best. But Furious 7, peak, peak cinema. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, what, Marty, you really haven't. You haven't come close to he ain't put no mobsters in space in Goodfellas. I never seen it. Have you seen it? He can't. You know Rob, why? Because he's what? sane. No, no, no. I think if Robert De Niro can have another kid at seventy nine, he can go to space. Now he listen, got top and did his business. That is, that's exactly how his uh, sperm is floating in space, just <laughs> wandering. Just... Right, <laughs> exactly. No gravitational pull. Oh. All right. Well, we love y'all. We got another pod to do for the Patreon. Bald and beautiful happening soon. Pull up on us. Make sure to come when we come to your city. Go see Angel in Los Angeles if you're in this area. See me on tour by myself in Sacramento this week. And uh, bah, 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 New Jersey and Boston next week. And then see the Ball Brothers tour this summer. And we love you. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you at the conference. Hey. There's another thing I fight for. Another thing I fight for. There's another one. Yeah. There's another banger for you. There's another one. There's another banger for you. Fire. Fire. Uh, uh, uh. There's another banger for you. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.